When school fails, unschool. To live is to learn. I'm Mary, and this is my son Luke. Luke does amazing things because his education is unscripted and driven by him. He learns through life experiences. And given love and freedom, he soars. Welcome to the Luke Life, where complex, beautiful, gifted, Aspie Minds play. All right, what are we doing today? We're neutering out time. And this is the first episode of The Luke Life. <laughs> okay, let's be gone. We were going to neuter him when he was five months, but I couldn't because I had surgery. So now we're doing it at seven months. And he's already been, uh, been doing the <laughs> dosey dough. The dosey dough. <laughs> So he's in rut now, which means he's ready to breed. What behaviors does he have that we don't like? Okay, he pees on his front legs, and he makes in from the glands on his forehead and his neck. He makes a really bad smell that mixed with old pee smell. <laughs> whoop de doo that is just horrible. <laughs> it's his pheromone. He thinks he smells good. And the ladies do too. That's Marigold screaming. So they've been off food and water for 12 to 24 hours. They're in the goat shed now. So they're gonna be eager to come out. The first thing we're gonna do is open the shed. Then we have some sedation that we're gonna give them. This is my first time sedating a goat, so. Whoa, you don't know what to expect. <laughs> we'll see. Don't worry about his horns. <laughs> Screw with her when she was using some gold. Why are you painting yours like that? And she was like, okay, you want it, you want it. Why paint his horns? Uh -uh. They're naturally gold. He's magical. No, you spray painted them. Like a unicorn. You spray painted them on television. Hi. Time for your medicine? Mm -hmm. Time for your medicine? Our dear viewers, look at that. That is Alpine right now. I don't think he wants to do this. I think he, he still wants to do the dirty dough, man. So that's gonna hopefully keep him from getting up. He's like, oh man, I need more drug. So these are his testicles. I'm gonna put some numbing agent in them. Doesn't like it. So I'm gonna pull back and make sure I don't have blood. I'm gonna do half in this testicle. Yeah, I'll need that in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy one. He says, yow! Okay, BZ, BZ, scrub 107. 107 is the name of an SCP. Yeah. We don't know what SCP stands for, it sounds like. Here, can you step? One thing you have to be sure of is that you're not pushing too hard on his neck. That I'm just lay my legs here. Mm. There you go. Now we're just gonna let him cook with that for a little while. Marigold, get over here and comfort your <laughs> husband! <laughs> Whatever. I guess they're married now, what the heck? So, we have to look at his chest. Is he breathing? Yeah. Look at his gum. Oh. It's okay. I'm just gonna scrub. We're gonna cut. These are actually scrub brushes for your hands. So we want him to be on his side as short of a time as possible, just making sure that his gums are still pink. See, wow. um, okay, that's good. Well, it means that he's oxygenating. If they were blue or purple, then he's not breathing that well. He's not getting enough oxygen. If you have an acute case of the heebie-jeebie, don't look. Marigold, go away. Oh, jeez. That's not cool. 
All right, Luke, here we go. Come on. This I've never used before. Kind of excited about that. So, yeah. You can open your eyes now, yours. And now close them again. And I am. Okay. So, clamp down. The bulbs come up yet? What's the. Uh... Uh, deep ball, pest, or whatever you like to call it, and gets rid of that 9,000. And so we're just going to let that sit, and we're going to work on this one. Wear this tissue off. I'm going to go into an area where there's not vessels. This is the muscle. True. Well, and at least now that you're doing some good talking. But some viewers have the guts to actually look at it. Mm hmm. Which I do not, but I still do like the glance and the back, the glance and the back, the glance and the back. So I think this chops it. Oh, I you guys hear that? that. And now this opens that, so supposedly this crushes the end. So that can go back to his home. I'm not gonna crush this guy. Now we're gonna put it right oh. here. Just leave it down. Gross. Now I'm just letting this sit to crush the tissue. restrict their mobility after a procedure so they'll have some bleeding that comes from this and if they didn't have the bottom of their scrotum cut off then it would just fill up with blood and then it can become a big problem get infected and all that stuff so this is a way for it to drain out without doing that all right so there's alpi was a little uncomfortable but it should be good now no i'm not gonna get up and watch him run Alright, so what we're going to do there is move his testicles out of the way. It's going to sit him up. So we slowly the full blood wherever he goes? For a little bit, yeah. How is it, baby? So since Alpi is just a pet goat, we don't have to worry about the drugs that we gave him and withdrawal time if he were a meat goat. Meat goat means we'd raise him to eat him. And that's not happening. Hi. Hi. You hungry? She says, I'm very hungry and thirsty. You lock me in here. I don't have my water. I'm go, sweet love. Luke, you want to get her some oats as a little treat? She says, I'm so, so thirsty. Some marigold. She's special. Because <laughs> her mama didn't want her. We think she was premature. So she's been with a human. She's never quite learned to drink from <laughs> bucket. Always with the nibble. So that's what we have going here. That's kind of kinked. Right. Put it in her um, bowl up here. Mom, that has goat poop in it. Ew. I want to eat goat poop because it's not high enough. <laughs> I had it down here for one when they were babies. And now you're pooping it, which happens. So here we have some baking soda, and here we have some salt, and salt liquid, all different types of electrolytes, and also has copper and selenium, goats really need copper, 
um, even if they eat off the land. But this is how, this baking soda is how they regulate the pH in my room. And so they know automatically, hey, I need to alkalize my uh, rumen a little bit. Here, all of you farmers, goat people, large animal vets can just laugh at me and my failed attempt of the fence. So initially I had, oh, she's got biscuits on. <laughs> so initially I had this um, poly wire rope with the metal all the way down. But Alpi would just push it up because it doesn't get taut enough and he would go through it. So I said, all right, we're gonna put the metal wire. And I did aluminum instead of steel because it's lighter and easier for my hands to work with since I have a carpal tunnel. And then Alpi said, ha ha ha, I'll just stick my horns under there and yank and bang, break it. That's what he's done. All my work, he just breaks it. Good gear. You go go. Go go. Here's your biscuits. Thank you guys. Alpi says, uh, I don't know what just happened to me, but so it's not cool, people. I feel like you've taken advantage of me. Um, it's a little bit hot here, so I'd appreciate it. <sighs> no. Oh, Marigold decided to poop right in the whole area. Yeah, goats, goats don't care. Marigold, don't drink that. Hi, baby. What happened to your man? What happened to your man? Yeah, he won't bother you anymore, hopefully, or as much. And then he won't stink. He got his cute little Elvis poof. Yeah, cute little Elvis poof. You're so handsome. Marigold. This is mischief. She would eat, get into so much paper when she was a baby. She used to be inside goat. Inside goat. Oh, oh, look out there. Oh, boop, boop, boop. He's a good boy. Mwah. He's a good boy. So we're here to check on Alpi. Yeah. Luke did a little bit of a free choice feeding. I accidentally dropped a bag of feed, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. He's over alongside of the steps here. Huh. Right yeah. over there. Well, check on him. There's the man. He says, um, I'm doing okay, but it kind of hurts.